Garcia, Director of Adult Evangelization and Catechesis here at St. Ignatius Martyr Catholic Church in South Austin. I'm here with Father Carl Ramkama, CSC, to talk a little bit about his vocation. So, um, when did you first have a sense that God was tugging at your heart to live this life? So I was actually six years old when I first started to feel called to the priesthood. I didn't know anything about religious life um, when I was growing up, but um, I first started to feel maybe these inclinations or this, this kind of tug um, when, I was, when I was six, which is younger than maybe most people feel, but the Holy Spirit works in our lives in different ways and there's no two vocations that are alike. And now how did you respond to that? Maybe as a six-year-old, but then mm -hmm. also as you got older? My first responses I remember being uh, fearful or uncertain because for me um, growing up as a very shy quiet kid I would look at priests in their life and see somebody who needs to be constantly interacting with people in front of uh, in front of this group of this room full of people on that stage where they're giving a homily um, and that was very far outside of my comfort zone so as somebody who was um, a little bit shyer as a kid that was something that frightened me um, but I was never afraid to talk about it with my parents. Uh, and my mom and dad always gave me words of encouragement, words of consolation, never pushing me or pressuring me one way or another, but always saying that if this or that is God's will, then that's how I'll be happiest. Um, and that God always, <clears throat> he always gives us the ability and the grace to do whatever it is um, that he's calling us to do. So I went from there and held that in my heart as a way of uh, continuing to discern the vocation to priesthood, and then eventually the religious life as well throughout my teenage years. What would, you, what, what would you say would be the moment that you decided to enter seminary? Was there any sort of culmination of all of that? I think perhaps the, the biggest uh, jump that I had in clarity or in conviction that God is calling me to be a priest was when I was 14. Um, I had just returned from home from a March for Life in Washington, D.C., and I, saw, I was surrounded by a young church, a uh, church which was very energetic and joyful, and also a church which saw itself as having something directly to say to a real world issue, um, a real world circumstance. And that just kind of made a lot of things click to me that um, there was a vibrancy and an intensity of the church's mission that I wanted to be a part of. And I felt um, for some reason very clearly that that meant to be a part of it as a priest. And now that yeah. you are part of this mission mm -hmm. of the church as a priest, what's one of the things or a few of the things mm -hmm. that you most love about your vocation? I think in my year and a half so far as a priest, what I've enjoyed the most is being welcomed into uh, not just the lives of individuals, but the lives of families, uh, especially here at St. Ignatius Martyr. We have such a diversity of ages. Um, where I can interact with children and their parents and their grandparents and their siblings um, is always a, a real joy for me to be able to uh, have such a diversity of ages but also of, of peoples and even languages here at St. Ignatius Martyr to be able to, um, to be welcomed not just into the personal lives of, of individuals but of whole families and that's been a lot of fun. What would you say to a six-year-old or a 14-year-old mm -hmm. who may be a, a little more shy like you yourself mm -hmm. were about entering this life? How is it now that you're on the other side? I think, I mean, this might be a little bit of a cliche, but God doesn't call, doesn't, doesn't qualify. Hold on, let me get it right. God doesn't call the qualified, but he qualifies those who he has already called. Um, God's grace can make up for so much of what we feel makes us unworthy of a call or what we feel makes something seem outside of our comfort zone or outside of our talents. God fills all of that up with his generosity um, and he has a lot of surprises in store. Uh, he promises to give to us uh, who leave something behind, whether it's as a parent or as a priest or some other form of vocation, he, he fills up our lives with a hundredfold, um, which means more than we could ever imagine. And I've experienced that to be the case. It's great. Yeah. Um, and what would you say to all of us who are not ordained, mm -hmm. the, the lady of the church, how can we support you and your vocation or, or other people who are discerning their vocations? 
I think the thing that makes me feel most supported here at St. Ignatius is the constant welcome that I receive after Mass, um, in between events when people feel comfortable to, to talk to me and to Father John, um, invite us into their lives, uh, share a laugh, share a joke, share a story of what's been going on in the last week or the last month. Um, I've really thrived off of the face time that I've been able to have with the people of God. Um, and that keeps me uh, so, so joyful, I think, and also keeps me very young to be able to uh, interact. And it's not just about the preaching and the sacraments um, and some of the other duty things that are definitely involved in the vocation, but there's so much that's spontaneous in those moments that I absolutely love. So my, my uh, hope is, and my, I guess, advice uh, as a way of supporting us in our vocation is to not be strangers, uh, but to continue just to invite us into your lives and into your stories. Is there any last thing you might want to say to someone who's considering this life? I have been so grateful for my vocation. Um, for me, I feel like this is something I was created for. It doesn't mean that it's always easy, but um, Pope Benedict XVI reminds us that we're not created for something easy, we're not created for comfort, but we're created for, for greatness and for adventure. Um, that's definitely been my experience. And so if you're, if you're up for adventure, if you're up for um, living a life of, of risk and um, radical trust in God, then this has been a beautiful life for me. But so is every response to any vocation that God might be calling you to. Um, and it's been great so far, so keep me in your prayers as I go for another year and a half of priesthood um, and beyond. So, yeah. Oh, well, great. Uh, thank you very much for your time, Father Carl. And thank you, Isaac. You're welcome. And thanks, everybody.